but we were just holding it obviously we told our friends and family but uh, we wanted to tell you guys about it so at the age of 40 and at the age of 46 yeah 46 we have got our canadian pr which is a very big achievement for us Welcome to Mars Vlogs, and uh, today we are in Saskatoon. I was uh, supposed to ask you guess where we are, but you would have understood since you are seeing Rame Modern Museum behind us. We are at Saskatoon. We are here for a visit for the weekend, and uh, we thought what better time to actually tell you guys something. Uh, so, so when we got a chance to actually come to Saskatoon, uh, we decided to wait for a couple more days and tell you guys a very very good news. We got a PR. Are you excited? Yeah, so the excitement has kind of died down because we yeah. got it on April third, uh, but we were just holding it. Obviously, we told our friends and family, but uh, we wanted to tell you guys about it. So, at the age of forty, and at the age of forty-six, yeah, forty-six, we have got our Canadian PR, which is a very big achievement for us. whoever has been following our journey know uh how it has been you've heard our stories uh you've heard uh about the difficulties the good times the bad times everything you have seen it all uh so we wanted to make sure the reason why we are taking this video in saskatoon is because uh saskatoon was the first place that i landed in saskatchewan and this was like the place that i stayed for the first 3 months so i am actually making this video for myself also so so that i can look into it maybe after a couple of years so this is the time that i was actually getting a makeover to actually travel to canada that's me packing my bags it was a very emotional time i was not in the best best phase of my life but yeah trying out clothes i was sending these videos to prashant who was in bangalore and i was in trivandrum at that time that's my very dear friend gopi who actually dropped me to the airport uh while i was coming to canada and then we got stuck in egypt it was a chartered flight but got stuck uh, all these passengers we had to just like sit uh, on the floor and wait uh, for like 10 12 hours um there was no washroom facility no food nothing uh we were just stranded in the airport so as you can see it's 3 in the morning we are all waiting for the covid test so this was in 2021 so you know it was just the end of end of covid or you know like almost at the fag end so at the end of uh, the uh, airport uh, stranded situation we were given a packet of food now when i'm seeing it i'm getting very emotional i don't know why uh, but uh, it was not a very easy journey i thought it will be smooth from the time i get into the flight but no it wasn't egypt also we had a lot of issues and then we had to like wait early in the morning this was around 6 uh, we were uh, given option to take a bus and go to the hotels So finally, after all that, I bo boarded a uh, Egypt Airways flight. I got a business class. I did an upgrade because I was too tired to actually sit in the economy and come. So I requested Prashant if I can get an upgrade. So that is my first sight of Toronto. I landed in Toronto, and as you can see, I'm trying to take a photo there. And since I didn't have anybody to take a photo, I'm like set up set up the camera on the trolley, and I'm trying to take a photo with the Y Y Z. uh symbol that is saskatchewan for you as you can see it is as flat as it can get uh so i landed in saskatoon so that is uh, almost like touchdown time so i wanted to take a uh, video of that um, so all these are memories that i have saved up all these while and now when i look back onto it i've come a really long way and i also wanted to show you guys uh what has been the journey for uh, two and a half three years which has not been easy but it was very a fun ride uh so after i land, landed in saskatoon i came to know that my luggage wasn't there and i can they actually gave me a care package or like a travel amni ticket that's all i had and just my files with documents i didn't even have one piece of cloth to change but my host was very kind enough uh, she actually gave me some towels and bed sheets and all those things and she told she won't come into that side so i can be uh, free and you know i can walk around even if i'm not wearing clothes 
so which i didn't do mm, but then yeah and she also made me some good kerala food yeah that sausage and curd and rice and all those things and my first update moved to saskatoon um which was something a big achievement for me so that's me on my first day out in saskatoon that's the area that i stayed in saskatoon very beautiful place a beautiful park i spent a lot of time there that's me and mr prashant having conversations he was back in bangalore when i was here and uh, this was i think when i had this was on my birthday i was visiting saskatoon midtown mall uh so this is the uh, viral video that uh, actually changed my youtube game uh, so this was when i did a video about me coming and how you can come to canada at the age of 35 uh that's me trying to explain look at me like i feel i'm a very different person now yeah i did find a job but yeah that video actually changed uh, life of a lot of people for a job and also when i got my license my license canadian license uh driving license and then uh, this is when i was actually traveling to moose jaw for the first time i got down in rajana those are my friends in college they picked me up from rajana took me to moose jaw we had a gala time there we were like roaming around and taking a lot of pictures as you can see uh and then uh, this is my friend uh, in saskatoon she's my first friend in canada uh, she's an indigenous uh, girl and uh, i got to know a lot of things about canada from her now i was saying bye bye to saskatoon my classes so were starting um uh offline so i was shifting to moose jaw so that's my friends trying to help me uh, shift to my uh, apartment which was like two floors high and they had to like shift everything that's my first uh time when i saw my college and uh, this is uh, this is our time as you can see uh, i had to go to college during that time and it was snowing and it was a good experience i have vlogged all these things but i don't think i have updated any uh, of these these are my classmates and that's me as usual like i didn't have anything to do at home other than work and college so i used to like keep music and dance and then record myself which i do now also but uh, yeah that was another time all together that's me in uh, class that's my first car in canada uh, prashant landing in regina i have gone to pick him up that's me graduating from college this is my graduation ceremony just before that we had gone for a photo shoot yes i did it i passed out of college and uh, then there's all these are just photos of me and prashant just adjusting to the life in canada and saskatchewan exploring places enjoying ourselves going for trips going for exhibitions or you know fairs that comes to uh, saskatchewan uh, our first camping trip our first uh, long road trip that's me shaving my head uh, on january 1st of 2023 and uh, 2023 has been a good year a lot of changes in my life uh, good and bad uh, but uh, taking it on a positive way that's my first brand new car uh that's our band trip a uh, very memorable trip um when we had onam functions there are so many things happening that year and this is my very dear friend who actually helped me survive in office uh, she's very very special to me that's me reaching 10k and this video is when i'm actually calling my mom and sis okay. to tell them that i got pr so okay. listen guys ah and then enna that's me doing the happy dance ഹാപ്പിയാണ് <laughs> Hmm. yeah and then um, back to the video guys so if you i'll just give you an overall there's a lot of videos coming up on this uh, right from our snp journey about snp letter how to apply for snp uh, pr uh, the whole process of federal uh, the non non what is the non express entry uh, all these kind of things are coming up but then uh we wanted to just make the okay. announcement saying that okay we got it and um, so just giving you a brief we ca- i came here in the year 2021 in the month of august so this august i'm completing 3 years 
yeah like some of you think pr uh, you feel that you get it quite easily and quite fast no it takes time for relatively for us it was a little faster than a lot of people who have been waiting for years uh, but um, compared to the others who got it fast yeah we are, we are like actually in midway thankfully everything actually fell into place uh, because um, if you ask about my journey in 2021 august like i told you i came here uh started with my one year course uh, everybody was telling to take a two year course even i was planning to take a two year course but decided to take it just one year course since um i didn't have the money to take the second year course so finally uh, after taking the uh, first year course uh, one of my friend had referred for a sinp job got through that then got the sinp letter put it for federal the journey has not at all been easy and i wouldn't suggest people to take a one year course anymore because things are getting tougher uh if you need a spousal visa you need a two year course or master uh masters degree so uh, there are a lot of criteria that's changed thankfully in my case uh 2021 was a good time to come here because uh, our batch due to covid uh, they actually got uh, the 18 months extension which worked out for us then uh, even the rules have changed in sinp which then imply for us mainly because uh, we just scraped through like in couple of months that we got it mm. so a lot of important videos are coming up but then uh we really wanted to announce it to you guys uh so those who think that okay you know should i make the change at this point of time and then come to canada and nowadays you know people also have the assumption okay uh oh, should we go to canada because you know that overall market value of canada has also come down but we are extremely happy here right prashant yeah. you want to add something uh not much we are like ecstatic and grateful yeah Yeah, we got it. Yeah, we tried very hard, and we have reached this point. So, hopefully, yeah. things go better from here onwards. So he came in a spousal visa. Uh, our journey was not at all easy. Wherein you know he had initially come on a visit visa, didn't work for six months. Then uh, you know whoever has seen our journey knows what struggle we went through. And when I also told some of my subscribers that I got the PR. they were more happier than me because they really know what all we went through uh, i wouldn't say it was very tough wherein we couldn't like uh, do things or you know we were not getting approvals and all uh, thankfully it was a smooth journey it's just that you know there's ups and downs and we all went through it jobs we are still settling down because since we are not a permanent resident in canada we are still figuring out our jobs uh, thankfully we both have jobs which are good we are satisfied as of now but obviously you know we will have to uh upgrade and move on with things so that's all guys you will see a lot of uh, important videos coming out so stay tuned i know many people got discouraged because of the latest announcements uh, that came out regarding you know spousal visa and also the uh, work permit but don't get discouraged there's always a way out um, if not um, alberta i mean i'm sure alberta manitoba saskatchewan all these places are making a lot of changes but uh, if not plan a plan b is always there so try your luck if we can get our pr uh, at the age of 40 and at the age of 46 you can also get it uh, it's always better to start early because the chances of getting the approvals and score and everything obviously not uh, ex- uh, non express entry does not have a score you don't have a draw or anything many of you have doubts on that i will be doing uh, for a uh, couple of videos on that uh but uh, overall i always would suggest people to start a little more earlier than at the age i came at the age of 37 uh worked out well for me might work out for you guys if it doesn't work out come early uh that's all guys so we are here for two days uh we came here for a different reason but i told prashant okay since we are going to saskatoon i definitely want to be- do the video in saskatoon because this was my first place of landing and what better way to announce that we got here prashant this excited his reaction this is his reaction can't help it so that's all guys